Let's make some plaid. So plaid's really fun and easy. I'm just gonna walk you through the steps real quick. The best part of it is making it into different color combinations and it's pretty much endless. So first you press M and I'm gonna, I always use the same size canvas. So I, I stick with a seven inch by seven inch square. It's kind of universal for me, but you can make it 10 or 12, whatever you want. Okay, so we're gonna take this and then you go up to object, artboards, convert to an artboard. Okay, um, so now you have your new artboard. Press M again, click. And this time um, we're gonna make the background. Let's make it 7.5, sorry, and 7.5. And then you center it. Okay, and let's do this color. Um, okay, it doesn't matter. So this is the background color. Now, um, next you grab your rectangle tool and you're gonna make some square or some rectangles. Um, they're going to be 7.5 in length, but the width could be any width. You can have them small, big, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna do two that kind of fill up See here, make sure that's 7.5 in length, and then make sure it's um, oops, different color here. Make sure it's aligned. Actually, that won't work. It needs to be aligned to the outer border. So um, align, use this align to key object, and then I hold the command to click this so that it's the main object now and now I press the top align. Okay. So, and then also, now it also needs to be aligned to this left side right here um, of the canvas. So, it's perfect. Okay. So, I'm gonna make another one, just um, command and option, and I'm gonna drag it out over here. So, the only thing that's kinda tricky is, um, the space right here from here to this side of the canvas needs to be equal to the space or I mean it doesn't have to be but it's more visually appeal appealing when it is so um, I like to just draw a little um, square and then I bring it over here and I see if it matches up and then I kind of just mess with it a little bit like okay it was a little bit too big I'm gonna go over here and shrink it down and then see if it matches. Okay, if I go over one, almost got it. There's probably a better way to do this, but you can just either eyeball it and it doesn't have to be perfect or just sit and do this until, there we go, we got it perfect. So the spaces are pretty much equal. Okay. And then um, to make it a little bit more fancy, you can make each stripe a different color. It doesn't really matter what colors we're doing right now because we'll add a, a color palette to it later. So it literally just as long as they're different colors. So I um, have this and then I'm going to make another one, just like a small one in the middle here. Make sure that it's 7.5, which it's not. Okay. Actually, even if I do, okay, it's going to be centered, and then I, actually I want it centered in the middle of this, so this one is the key object, centered, perfect. Um, let's see here, maybe I'll do another one of these, let's change the color, and I'll put it like right here, like kind of off. It'd be kind of weird. All right, so now we group this. So grab the whole thing and Command G, group, and then I'm going to make a copy of it. So Option Command, hold them down, drag it, right click, transform. We're gonna rotate this 90 degrees. Keep these clicked or checked. 
Okay, it turned right, and then um, this is a group, so we just have to center it, and it'll center right on top. Okay, and then the next part is it seems tricky, but it's actually really not. Um, so you have to draw out a long, very skinny. I mean, you can make it as wide as you want, but I like it to be pretty skinny line here, and you right click rotate 45 degrees okay and it needs to be a completely different color so than anything you have here now we're going to zoom in here and we need to I press the v to move it you need to um get that dot right on when it says intersect see how it said intersect right there it's right on the corner and then it's going to be perfect so now i'm going to make a copy of this and I need to put that one down at the other corner. Where is it? And it will say intersect. Okay, we got it. Okay, now we need to select both of them. Go up to object, blend, blend options, specified steps. It needs to be an odd number. 91 is pretty good for me. I press OK. Nothing happens. Go back to object, blend, make, and that's when the magic happens. Now it's um, it's just um, like blending all of these and it needs to be expanded. So object, expand. Now they're all going to be individual. Okay. Um, now I select, I like shift command and select this rotated one, the rotated group with it and come over to your pathfinder oops, pathfinder, and do the divide. So now it's all like one piece, it's broken into pieces. Okay, and then I need to select one piece of it and um, select, same, fill and stroke. And now you press delete. And now there's the magic right there. Now it exposed, it deleted everything and exposed that group that was underneath. And it just, it's, instant and it's beautiful okay so now to make the actual repeat we're going to press m again for our rectangle tool click seven by seven was the canvas no fill no border nothing we need to send it to the back so either object um arrange send to back or you could have pressed shift command and then like the left bracket to make it go backwards and then align it into the center of the canvas. Okay, so now you need to um, hold down command or do the select and you need to select it all, go over to your swatches and drag it in. Okay, now it's in there. So now when we make a, a shape, we can fill it and it's in there. Beautiful. You do a test. And I like to really drag out a big selection so I can analyze the pattern, make sure there's no mistakes. And um, when you when we made it overlapping the canvas, it made it so that there's not going to be any kind of lines or gaps or anything weird in there because sometimes it does that. So it looks good. It looks great. And it looks really complicated, but it's really not. So now this is where the fun part. Um, I don't ever work on the original one, so I either drag out another copy or you can just make a square like this with the pattern in it and then go up to your um, recolor artwork at the top here and advanced options. And then I have some palettes already in here. So let's say we choose this one, okay? Um, so we're gonna put this as Now it just instantly recolored it and it cha changes all of, you know, all of these change them to new colors and then you can do the randomly change color and it still stays within the same color palette but it just randomly changes it until you get something you really like um you have to press okay if you like something because you sometimes you can't get it back again it's hard to you know um yeah okay let's do cool one. Oh man i saw one i really liked and i clicked too fast but anyway um you get the gist Make some cool Christmas combinations. Okay, 
Sometimes when you click OK, it asks you, do you want to save this watch group? Um, like save the changes to it. It just wants you to reorder it. I always say no, it's fine. And then um, now this new color that you've messed with, it's automatically going to be in your swatches over here. So if you, if you want to drag it out, you can grab it from the swatches, pull it on out. Now it's right here and it looks just like the one we made, but it's with our new colors. So to put a canvas behind it, you actually have to go up to the layers and see how it's selected. I go into this group and then I go down to this clear rectangle and I click it to select it. And um, that's the, the rectangle that was sent to the back that makes it into a swatch. So I need to um, Command C to copy and then I press Command B to paste another one. So it pasted one right in the back. Now I'm going to go up to Object, Artboard, Convert to an Artboard. And now we've got this one as an Artboard. So now when we save it like a JPEG as a swatch, it saves right. Because you can't save just a rectangle like this as a, um, as a seamless pattern swatch. Okay, it has to be in its own artboard. So get rid of these and this, and that is it. So you can just do all kinds of different combinations, skinny lines, fat lines, um, two colors, whatever you want, you know, it's endless. When I make the diagonal lines, I get to the point where I, I um, do the steps and then I make a copy of it and then I just keep it kind of down below and I just grab that every time so I don't have to keep making the diagonal lines every single time. I just make a copy. So, I mean, there are shortcuts that'll, that you can use that are, you know, make your life easier. But that's really it. So have fun. Bye.